Hi, I'm uh, Stelios Kavadias. I'm the Margaret Thatcher Professor of Enterprise Studies in Innovation and Growth here at the Cambridge Judge Business School. And I'd like to share a few thoughts uh, with you about our operations uh, focus of the PhD program here at the Cambridge Judge Business School. A key question that many people have when they start contemplating going into a PhD program is what's, what's really in it for them? What's, what's, the, what's the idea behind a subject like operations? Personally, obviously, I would say that operations is one of the most exciting topics and subjects one could get involved in simply because it captures the fact that you study how things are made, how things are happening within organizations, especially um, given the fact that you have to take into account processes, people, strategy, and, and make sure that all work in sync in order to get stuff done, to make things happen, as we would say. We have chosen to make this a central theme within the operations uh, group here at the Cambridge Judge Business School and primarily the work that our PhD students are working on these days with, with the faculty is focusing on getting relevant problems from actual organizations and trying then to abstract them away into the true fundamental theoretical questions that um, we, can, we can source based on those problems. Eventually through a rigorous, extremely rigorous analysis. We're trying then to turn the answers that we get out of those problems, out of those um, research projects into uh, insights, fundamental insights for the organizations which should be completing the cycle of knowledge creation. With respect to the uh, subjects that we carry some, I would say, special expertise or if you wish, um, a competitive advantage, just to use a business language, uh, with respect to other business schools, competing PhD programs out there in the globe. We feel that the operations uh, group here at, at the Cambridge Jazz Business School has tremendous expertise on three key topics. The first one is strategic management of projects. And this goes beyond the, let's say, simple perspectives that have been developed over the years, the, the traditional perspectives that have been supported over the years in terms of uh, project management, and focusing a bit more on how risky, complex innovation projects should be managed. That's an open-ended question out there in the, uh, in the corporate business world, and we feel terribly excited by being able to work on, on certain projects related to that. The second topic relates to services. One way or another, most of the economies are turning into primarily service economies, especially in the Western world. And services being slightly more complex than the traditional production processes make it extremely hard um, to deliver and eventually create value for the organization. So how can we actually take this complex phenomenon that's called services, which implies co-producing results together with customers, with stakeholders, and so on and so forth, and manage it effectively by increasing the bottom line. That's an open-ended question and again one of our perspectives is being deeply involved with certain organizations, service organizations, be it in the financial sector, be it in the healthcare sector and trying to drive as much new insights and knowledge creation as, as possible. Another topic which is extremely interesting and um, very important for, for many of the organizations that we interact with um, in, the, in, 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 in the globe, I would say, is the issue of decision making and senior management decision making. So how are decisions happening in groups? How are the processes that govern those decisions? How much are those decisions uh, akin to the traditional, let's say, rational um, optimization perspective that the economics tradition had created and how much do they happen to be influenced by behavioral aspects, by psychological effects and conditions that the decision makers are subject to. That's an open-ended question as well and this is yet another topic and a domain where we see uh, quite some tremendous growth in terms of the potential for knowledge creation and there, is, there, reside, there resides enough expertise within the operations uh, group here at Cambridge Jazz Business School um, in terms of actual research outcomes. If I would have to uh, summarize the key strengths, I would say, of the uh, PhD program, I would put it in terms of three R's just to make it as um, corporate as possible. It's relevance, because we want to be working and deeply engaging with organizations. It's rigor, because we want to be making statements that are supported in hard facts and they have gone through the scrutiny of theoretical analysis and its results. 
creating eventually the impact that the organizations can take back and improve their operations or push their understanding and thinking of what they do even more profoundly, which will lead to additional research eventually, but at, this, at least it's, it's, it's happening in a way that is systematic and it helps them increase their bottom line.